Your music taste sucks, and here's why. Music for some is an art form. For some it's an obsession. For some it's a way to get through their toughest times, like listening to Eye of the Tiger to pump you up to ask a girl out, and then when she inevitably rejects you, you listen to Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish while crying in a corner. But most people just use music as a way to block out whatever weird noises are coming from your car because you don't want to be mansplained what's wrong with your car by your mechanic or worse, your dad. Now, most people, believe it or not, can be categorized and stereotyped into different groups based off of what kind of music they really like and what they really listen to. And I know what you're thinking. Keith, you can't categorize me into a certain archetype based off of my music taste. And you'd be wrong, you fucking idiot. Welcome back to Keith's Knowledge Corner. And this week we're going to be going over what your music taste says about you. Now I know this might not cover every genre of music, but I'm sorry that I'm not covering 1993 techno underground grunge music for the three people who were born in 2004 who pretend to listen to it to try to seem cool and retro to their other dumb fucking friends. With all that being said, let's jump into the different genres of music. Pop music. You are the type of person who epitomizes capitalism. You consume basically any type of music that is given to you on a silver platter and to quote the young kids, leave no crumbs. You just listen to whatever sounds bubbly and nice to mask your deep depression rooted in the fact that your parents don't love you, so you look to Harry Styles and his army of boys to tell you what makes you beautiful. Congrats on having the most bland taste in music with no real depth about lyricism or rhythm or genuine care for songwriting. Classic rock music. Congratulations, you let your parents control every facet of your life growing up, and now that they don't love you anymore, this is the one thing you hold on to. You spent your formative years listening to Hair Radio on Sirius XM, and now you listen to aging rock stars shred their vocals singing their songs from 1975, except the rock and roll stars aren't as good because the drugs they're on now aren't as good as the drugs they were on then. New Age Rap Music Now, if I had to guess, you're a white-ass nerdy kid who's trying to look like J-Rock from Trailer Park Boys, thinking you can have the past because your SoundCloud rap song got a thousand streams and a this shit's tight comment. On top of that, you've probably got a souped-up Honda Civic that you treat like a baby even though your parents bought all the parts in the car for you. Listening to old school rap is one thing because that shit is great, but listening to that New Age mumble shit is like listening to the same thing over and over again on a different beat. If you genuinely find that shit interesting, you're as much of a fan of rap as a cheerleader is of football. At the end of the day, you're just there to get with the performer. TikTok music. I can't fully explain what TikTok music is exactly, but it's basically the songs that you hear on TikTok that play the same 6 to 10 second clip of like the chorus or something over and over and over again, video after video after video, before the song's released to promote the song. The problem with that kind of music is that when the song releases, after months of playing the same 6 to 10 second clip, the only good part of the song is that 6 to 10 second clip. If you actually like this crap, then I recommend going back and watching old school Vine compilations because you'd get more enjoyment watching 10 year old Vines than you would listening to these poorly constructed 2 minute cash grabs that are a lame attempt to media plant new artists. We don't want more TikTok e-boys who have the same haircut and same chain and same rings that mean absolutely nothing. We want real artists who make real meaningful music. At the end of the day, everybody's music tastes suck, especially people who listen to country music. But that's the beauty of music. It opens people up to experiencing new things and creating an open debate for what is good in music and what sounds good. So don't necessarily judge people or put them into a box based off of their music taste until you've tried to listen to the music yourself. Unless it's country music, because that is objectively shit. I'll see you next week.